I wanted to do the all tower defense simulator trailer, except that I I show you good quality, and I go in depth about into some of the makings of it as well. I'm only gonna be doing trailers that I made, so this won't count for ones that profile or whatever that first guy made. So this is the first ever one, January 22nd, 2020. So uh, let's give it a watch first. So that was pretty cool, although uh, there was no outro, it's just kind of this sort of cool ending, but there was no text. Uh, let's go on to the next one. 2020, this was the one that won me the Bloxy Award, or, or rather won us, really cool. Uh, glad to have that on my channel. So that one was really good, and that's what got us the Blocks Award winner. A mix of animation and also gameplay is the best combo you go for, along with this sort of style as well. When the gameplay is also taken to the factor of like animation slightly, uh, whatever, just keyframes. I'll talk more about that. This is the recent one we made. This is actually not on the game page because it is 31 seconds. They are sh this one was 31 as well. They're they weren't not as strict. Now they are strict about it. So yeah, that was really cool. Uh, this profile made his own, and that one got on the game page. Uh, this one did not, because it's 31 seconds. Very weird. Out of all of these, my favorite one will be the Bloxy winner, just because this was, my personal opinion, this was the the best one that was made, as in terms of quality, as in terms of little story, and as in terms of just the gameplay footage. This one kind of sucked in some spots. You really got to pay key atten uh, attention to it. Now the... Now, the animation itself was fine. Uh, there's no reason wrong about that. It's just that um, it's a few scenes where it kind of sucked. Like, this one has generic war sounds in the background. I personally would have done a lot of a better job to make it sound better. I was not in charge of that, though. I think Profine was, right? Uh, yeah, Profine lead editing. And there's also this clip as well, where it's just, there's just no sound. There's just no sound at all. And this scene sucks. Below really wanted this in, but I told him this was a terrible take because it's so bright. And even in game, it's bright. It, it's it looks terrible. But you really wanted to showcase this tower on this map, so it kind of looks like a kind of it kind of looks like it was just forced in there because it was forced in there. I personally did not like that take, but yeah, for the rest of it, I'm like it, it's fine, dude. Um, it is completely fine. Oh, and by the way, for the gameplay. That's all me. This idea was me too. Like a how it would start, how it would start off and just show it off. And then gameplay is just a bunch of little random clips. There wasn't really any story put into it. Just just maybe a few. Uh, like the beginning of that one. Uh, this one was cool. I like this one a lot more. Profine did make this. I'm pretty sure I was the lead uh, editor. I didn't even say that. I just said I did uh, edit this video. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Of course, animation was good. Um, this little drop-in scene was pretty basic, but cool, I guess. Uh, my favorite part was when these walkers were popping. Look, this was really cool, and this took a while to make. And I actually screwed this up, because this little keyframe here, 
I was supposed to actually make it go around the walker and cut off right here so it'll transition better. I thought that was supposed to be like this, so that's kind of my mistake. It is kind of my first time doing this, so I did do it again over here for my first trailer. Um, yeah, this one was for the tank, but this is so much easier. It was way easier than the one before because it's not as much of a com of a complex shape compared to this one. Uh, you got the gun, you got the legs that they move around a lot. Tank, it didn't really move. It's just one fat, thick piece that was staying. So this was really annoying to keyframe properly because not only did you have to worry about the left leg, but the right leg and the right foot would pop in as well. Lots of work put into that. This this scene alone took me about an hour to do, and it's only like two seconds, dude. Two seconds, and it took me about an hour to keyframe. But yeah, I like that part of the art. And story-wise, I mean, gameplay-wise, I tried to put the best composition that I put. I don't put too many chopper towers. I don't put too many shotgunners, like just spam that. This, this, this is a nice little group. I make sure that some cool zombies are being showed off. Uh, I put a group of motors over here, then the phasers, and I make sure that they're all different stages, so it looks diverse rather than the same crap. Unless it's like a little gang right here, then that's fine. And then this little scene right here. I kind of didn't like this one because the shotgunner was just staring. I wish it just shocked this one, but I couldn't control that. And this one was really cool with all the accelerators, all the lights going on. That's just strictly TS gameplay. Uh, there was this little bendy part here that I kind of didn't like, but you kind of have to stare at this picture in order to really see the problem. Same thing with over here. You can see some of the walker part just kind of floating. But yeah, this by far was the best one that I would personally say, yeah, this is the one that I'm proud of most, especially since it got us the Bloxy War 2. And I like this scenery here. I, re I really like how I mash the towers with the vibe of the map. I try to strive for that as well. Or there's like this this little group of like party skins right next to the uh, DJ guy. And there's this brightly hazmat color right next to the DJ. Right next to the yellow spot. I try to think of these small factors to really make this scene. And make it unique and very enjoyable I suppose. Uh, this was the first one really basic animation was cool but it's something to like crave about um there's actually a little e e easter egg look there's a cassidus right, right there the little little uh thing he wanted to do and then uh the scene starts up this is my first trailer by the way and i say it was fine for the most part although some of it sucked like this just looks like spam i would have done a better job of not making this look that bad um this right here, zombies are clipping through, but I guess that doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, probably would have used less gold towers and put some, something else. This scene was pretty cool and really big as well. This is sped up, by the way, because the tanks take took so long. I didn't want like just a second of a tank passing by. That, uh, that was like really bad footage. But yeah, that's where I keyframed it. I don't think I really made any mistakes in the keyframe that I can't. I can't really tell. Like maybe like this corner is too cut off. But this is this was my first time doing that, and then I really like this tank trans transition scene because it goes from tank and then tanks are on the ground now. Pretty cool, I think. Um, just some generic snow gameplay. This one I'm not too proud of. Like I like the uh, blur I did, but I felt like I could have done better with the split screen, made it look more uh, less boring, is what I would say. This scene was cool, and here's where we can see the marks. Uh, this was. So, this was released back in 2019. They first looked like this. They looked like the Zeds from uh, Tower Battles. But now, they have legs. And that's in 2020. 2021, they're still not in the game. Uh, so, these have been hyped for about three years in total. And they're, <laughs> they're not in the game. That's uh, a, bit, a bit disappointing. This scene was really cool. I really like the way this Fallen King just pops in. That is a really cool one. And then you can see the uh, Magma Boss in the background. The only reason I don't like this clip is solely because the quality of it looks like garbage. If this was 2K like I have now, it looks clean. Look at this picture quality. It is much clearer. There's a lot more going on. Um, and when you pause it, it doesn't look that bad. Compared to here, uh, you can tell the pixel quality kind of sucks. And yeah, that's, that's just kind of a uh, letdown. Fun fact. 
the towers in here were broken. They were not doing real damage, but it looked really cool. And that's what I was going for. Did not care if it did no damage. This scene was cool too. Slow counter movement with the explosion. Always a nice thing to have. And um, motor just pew, splashing in. Looks really cool. And then I just zinked this in with the song. And I think it was a really cool take. Seeing the mark flying. I mean, uh, right in the, back, in the background as well. Uh, this trailer was odd though. Because there was no... Uh, Usual, you know, tower defense simulator outro, tower defense simulator outro, paradox from game. It was just, it was just that. So that was a bit of an odd take. But yeah, I enjoyed all these trailers. There's always things to, cr to criticize about and to improve on. Like this one even had a few scenes that I could have improved on, and this one for sure was rushed. Um, I think I think Profine stayed up so much in order to make this trailer occur because. My gameplay part wasn't really hard um, compared to their level of work, but I did put a lot of thought into, you know, mapping out like, okay, this tower should go here, this tower should go here. Let's not make this corner so boring. Let's put a little chopper pad there. Too many choppers, let's sell some. Like, those are some very important factors to go o o over when you're doing a trailer for a big game. And I always take those into consideration. Like here too, p put some soldiers on top. I don't think this map was released. And that's very odd. Don't know, don't know what's up with that. This scene sucks. I didn't like this scene, but below really wanted it in. So I was like, okay, well, we'll put it in. Even though it looks terrible. And yeah. Overall, though, proud of my work and glad to work with the guys uh, on this trailer. Is I think it's always enjoyable, and I. Uh, uh, I, I have to do some more of these keyframe things. Those would be really cool. Maybe like a chopper tower or something. That would be really cool. And it's actually in game, by the way. It's not some stupid green screen I did. And like, oh yeah, let's call it, let, let's call it a day and just do a cheap screen wipe. No, this is like actually in game. That, uh, that, that's why this it's like firing his guns and you kind of see the flash cut off. I could have probably included the flash, but the thing is that this is transparent. It would have showed the background. That would have looked worse. So I kind of just cut that part off. But yeah, overall... This is the one I like the most. Nice.